Now, in 6 part B, okay, we'll just put that there, that we're told that the plank AB is no longer uniform. We're also told that the tensions now have obviously changed, but that this tension at A is 10 more newtons than the tension at B. So, if we start then by saying that the tension at B is, say, t, t newtons, then the tension at A must be 10 plus T newtons. And because the plank is no longer uniform, the weight will act not at the middle, but off-center. So I'm just going to say that it acts over here somewhere. So we'll put the weight in then as 12 G newtons. And we've got to find out the distance that it acts away from A. So I'm going to call that distance x meters. So just mark that in, OK, as being x meters. So how are we going to find x? Well, we've got two unknowns, t and x. So that suggests simultaneous equations. So first of all, what I'm going to do is to resolve upwards. And I know that because the plank is in equilibrium, there should be no overall resultant force. So resolving upwards, taking upwards as positive, we have the 10 plus t. So we have 10 plus t plus this force here of t newtons. And the 8g and the 12g act downwards, so they'll be negative. So that's minus 8g minus another 12g newtons. And the plank is in equilibrium, so the resultant force will be zero. And so from this equation, I can work out what t is. I can see that I've got 2t here, so we've got 2t equals and I can add 8g and 12g to both sides and subtract 10. So that's going to give me 20g minus 10. And dividing by 2 to both sides means that t is now 10g minus 5. So I've got t as 10g minus 5 newtons. Next. I can now start to head towards finding the distance x by taking moments. And, and the best place to take moments, although you can take them about any point, really is going to be a, OK? Because it eliminates the force here of 10 plus t newtons because it passes through a. And so we we'll take moments about a, and I want a direction clockwise or anticlockwise to be positive. Again, it doesn't really matter, but looking at this problem, I can see that taking moments clockwise is going to mean that this force of 12 G newtons is going to turn the plank in a clockwise direction about A, and so its moment will be 12 G times X. And I want to keep that term positive. So we're going to take moments then positive in the clockwise sense. So, taking moments then about A, we've got first of all 12g then times x. So, pop that in there as 12g x. And then we've got the force of 8g newtons times 0.8. That'll be its moment about A. So, that's plus 8g times 0.8. Now we've got the force at B, t newtons. And that's going to want to turn the plank anti-clockwise. So that's going to be in the negative sense for this particular part. So we've got t newtons times 2.4. And we know that t is 10g minus 5. So that's going to be minus 10g minus 5 multiplied by the 2.4. And because the plank is in equilibrium, there's no overall turning effect, no overall moment then about A. So that would equal zero. So all we need to do now is just solve this equation for x. So we have 12gx. OK, so we'll just put therefore 12gx. And if I work that term out on a calculator, we have 62 
point seven two and doing ten G minus five taking G to be 9.8, 10 G minus 5 multiplied by 2.4, doing that on a calculator comes out at minus 223.2, and that equals 0. And rearranging this for x, x will equal, well, we can add 223.2 to both sides, so that's 223.2. Subtract 62.72 from both sides, so 62.72, and that would leave us with 12gx, but if I divide by 12g, then we're left with the x. Okay? So, doing that on a calculator, let's just roll that up, okay? I make that 1.364 and so on, and rounding that, say, to one decimal place means that x is 1.4 meters to one decimal place. So the center of mass then is 1.4 meters to one decimal place from A. And that brings us to the end now of question six.